Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Verse 14. I will therefore that younger women marry, bear children, guide the house. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Right? Don't give the devil an opportunity to speak against you, young ladies. What you need to do is be raised with the goal to find a godly husband, marry a man that wants to, to provide for you financially and spiritually. Make that your number one goal. Don't worry about your career. Right? Don't worry about what school you go to. Hey, if you never go to college, but you raise godly children, that is, a, 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 that is awesome. That's like the best job you could ever have. That's the best thing you could ever do. He says, marry, bear children, right? Your husband needs to be a man of God that's willing to work and provide for you so you can have children, have babies. The Bible says the fruit of the womb is his reward. Hey, it's only natural that the little girls in the church just love the babies, right? This is how God has made us, right? All these little girls just love oon and on over the babies. I want to hold the baby. I want to get the baby. They want to carry around baby dolls, right? Why? God has programmed us as men to be fathers and leaders, as women to lead the house, to guide the house, right? To lead children, to raise babies. And it takes an unnatural hatred to hate babies. Yeah. It takes an unnatural heart to get to the point where you reject that. Oh, these children, I just can't stand children. Man, there's something wrong with you, right? right? I love babies. I, I, there's a priest a, a long time ago about the a revelation, and that video is getting a whole lot of video, views on YouTube, and you can hear the babies in the front row crying. I don't care. It's just like every other week I got somebody sending me an email or commenting, well, I really like your video. I really like learning about revelation, but can you shut those children up? No. Like, no, I won't. <laughs> Right? You're a hearer only. You're not a doer. Why don't you get in church? Why don't you yeah. get in your Bible? Why don't you figure it out for yourself? Hey, I'm glad they're hearing, but don't you dare offend one of these children. Yeah. Don't you dare have a hard heart against the babies and the little children. And listen, little, li little girls, young ladies, right? Moms, this is God's plan that you would have your own babies, that you would have your own children. And when you have that, that's the beginning of true joy. Right? The women that are out there that don't have that, they do not have true joy. They're Amen. not happy. Amen. They are not happy. And the women that fight this, they don't want to guide the house. You know, guide the house. The, in Proverbs, it says that mom is a lawgiver alongside with dad. When I leave the house, mama's in charge. She's guiding the house. She's laying the law down because she knows the law. Right? And when dad gets home, she can relax. Dad's a lawgiver. Look out. Right? God has a perfect plan for things. And when the world rejects that, you know, I saw this lady the other day, and I mean, she's, she's hanging out of her truck, a cigarette out of her mouth, trying to like flirt with some stranger, and she's got kids in the back seat, right? She's like trying to pick up on some bum, and it's like, well, that's exactly what the Bible warned about. Nobody wants their little girl to be that woman that doesn't have a husband that's trying to pick up strangers in a gas station with their kid in the car seat. Like, that's weird. That's what this world has become. This is the fruit of rejecting God's law. Right. This is what happened when you say, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to just follow the lust of the flesh. Guess what? You're never satisfied. Right. You're never happy. True joy comes in motherhood. True joy comes in parenthood. Having babies. Enjoy them, not yourself. And that's the problem. They would rather enjoy themselves. Ooh, I got my, I do this, I do that. Hey, go away, I don't have time for you. Right? That's the spirit of the world. Right? We're different. We enjoy our children. We should enjoy our children more than we enjoy ourselves.